Hello everybody, today in this video, I'm going to be going over my top 5 coaster letdowns. A little over a month ago, I went over my top 5 roller coasters that surprised me the most. So for this week, I'm going to be going over the top 5 roller coasters that really just let me down. These are roller coasters that I had really, really high hopes for, but they didn't meet my expectations. But before I get into it, if you're new here and you like what I post, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helped me out a lot on my journey to 500 subscribers and it would really make my day. So if that subscribe button is red, click it now to make it gray and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the list. Coming in at number 5, we have Storm Runner at Hershey Park. This is a ride that I really had high expectations for, and honestly, I was actually kind of nervous to get on this ride, not gonna lie, because it was my first hydraulic launch coaster. I never knew what it felt like, and the only other launch coaster I rode with at the time was Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, and that was an LIM launch, and that took you backwards. So this was gonna be a different sensation, and I had no idea what to expect. So I had really high hopes for it, it's gonna be really forceful and everything, it's really gonna knock the wind out of me. And I remember the first time I rode it, I was kind of underwhelmed. It didn't really deliver what I thought in my head what the launch was going to feel like, but it was still a fun ride, don't get me wrong, Storm Runner is really fun, it ranks number 3 overall, so yeah, it's a good ride. It just didn't deliver what I thought it would, so that is why it is at number 5 on this list. At number 4, we have Batman the Ride at Six Flags Over Texas. So, I have heard that Batman the Ride is a really, really intense ride, and it is a really intense ride, but I hear that even the most experienced coaster enthusiasts will gray out on this ride, and I wouldn't call myself an experienced coaster enthusiast, but I am a coaster enthusiast, so okay, I'll gray out on the Helix. Nope, I didn't even come close to graying out on this ride, so that kind of let me down in a way that I thought this ride would be a lot more intense than it actually was. It still was intense, but it wasn't as intense as people made it out to be. I thought it would be along the lines of like Titan intense, or maybe a little bit below I-305 kind of intense. Now, it was still pretty intense, but just not as intense as I thought it would be. So that is why it placed number four on this list. At number three, we have Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is a ride that I actually did have high expectations for, you know, vertical lift, beyond vertical drop, amazing ejector airtime, great inversions, cool layout, yeah. And on paper, it looks like a very good ride, and it is a very good ride. Again, don't get me wrong, all of these rides are fantastic. Well, except for number one, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, back to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is a ride that I really had high expectations for. And then I remember riding it for the first time, I still remember it being very, very good. It's just, I thought it, the pacing was just off, and it still is kind of off, like it just kind of dies in the middle of the layout, and it kicks right back up at the end. People rank this as one of the best roller coasters at Hershey Park, and I don't even think it's as good as Great Bear. If you guys know me, I think Great Bear is better than Fahrenheit. But people rank Fahrenheit, I would say on average, at least number three in the park, and that is something I just don't get, and I don't know why people rank it that highly, but hey, people have their opinions, and my opinion is that Fahrenheit is a middle tier roller coaster at the park, or like a middle high tier. It is definitely a little bit overrated in my opinion, but yeah, that's just my take on it. So that's why it is at number three on this list. At number two, we have Sidewinder. Yes, I know, Sidewinder. This is actually a very surprising pick. I know, right? Well, I heard that Sidewinder is one of the better boomerangs, and I'm sure it is with the Vester Strains and all, and the Nuvacoma Trains. I'm sure it's one of the better boomerangs out there. I still think it's a bad ride, though. Actually, one of the worst rides ever, at Hershey Park, at least. And I had high expectations, because going into this ride, it, the concept is cool. Going backwards and everything, you know, shuttle coaster and all that, it looked really fun. Now, the thing that got me was that people have said this is one of the better boomerangs, and that they would ride this again. So I was thinking, okay, maybe since I have a good boomerang at my home park, I'd want to ride this a lot. But no, when I rode it for uh, the first time back in June, worst coaster I've ever ridden, would not do it again. I will I will give it another chance, I will say that. I'm going to give it another chance in the upcoming 2022 season. But for now, it stands as the worst coaster at Hershey Park. At number one, we have Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast at Six Flags Over Texas. I'm sure a lot of you saw this coming on this list, especially if you know my opinion on this ride. And if you don't know my opinion on this ride, I don't like this ride at all. I mean, I like the launch and the spike, and those are really the only two things I like about the ride. 
but I found this ride to be rough and it was just too intense for me. I wasn't prepared for the ride experience. So I will definitely, if I ever go back to Six Flags Over Texas, ride this again. But I was going into this thinking it was gonna be one of the best coasters in all of Texas. That's how good I've heard this ride is. And then when I rode it, I'm like, okay, that was really bad. If you watch my vlog, you can definitely see my reaction. I remember coming off this ride, sitting on the bench, thinking I was about to throw up. That's how bad this ride was. And I'm sure that was just me not knowing what to expect and everything. So yeah, this was definitely the biggest letdown I've ever had from a roller coaster. So definitely, like I said before, I'm, I want to go back out here and give this ride another chance. Because I really do think this ride looks great. It's just when I rode it, it was a very bad ride. I remember it being rough too. But yeah, that concludes my list of the top five coaster letdowns. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment down below what your biggest coaster letdown was for the 2021 season. And if you liked the video, drop a like down below. And if you want to join the Discord server and talk with other viewers of the channel, links will be down below for that. But that is all I got for you guys today, and I will see you all later. Bye!